What's up guys, hope you're having a great day. It's General Levitris coming back at you with another update with this New Zealand playthrough. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with this series that we have for New Zealand on conflict and nations. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos that I've been making. It's been helping you uh, be victorious as New Zealand. So in our last video we were going to war against South Africa. We hadn't really landed on anything or uh, conquered any territory just yet, maybe like a little bit. But now as you can see South Africa is all conquered all the way up to Egypt, Libya, and parts of Algeria, and Madagascar as well. South Africa, that nation, is completely gone. The player has been defeated. Another update is Poland has decided to join us in our coalition, which is a huge help because we were going to have to fight him all the way in Russia to Poland and to Eastern Europe, and now we don't have to worry about that, and it boosted our VP points quite a bit. So now it's me, New Zealand, Australia, Indonesia, and Poland all in one coalition and we are in first place now we just have another coalition to take down which is spain and cameroon they did have italy and we actually eliminated them later or earlier this week so now we just have to worry about these two countries and then later on we will probably fight brazil and the u.s and lastly canada but for right now we'll stay focused on what's going on in africa and europe we'll start with europe first so after poland had teamed up with us in our coalition. We moved a lot of troops into Eastern Europe, flew them in uh, via transport, air transport, and we started battling Italy and, and Greece, and then came into Northern Italy, and then Southern Italy as well. So I landed and battled him in Greece, just infantry, I didn't really have to bring anything else. And then I came in into Northern Italy with air support for my elite attack squadrons, uh, and some air superiority fighters, and took Venice, Florence, Milan, and then Indonesia came in with his navy, bombarded all these cities down here, like Rome, and took uh, Italy. We took in about two days, so it wasn't too long of an operation to take over Italy. And then naturally, because Italy was allies with Spain, Spain declared war on us, and you can see all this mayhem that is going on right now, all the smoke, and you don't see any enemies right now, but he's definitely in some of these cities like Paris and all these, these other places, but Indonesia has cleaned him out pretty well in his own homeland. We know that he still has units hiding in here. We just can't see them yet. We need to get our AWACS to see where he's at. But we've been working together, putting armored units in, rocket launchers, like units like this. So here's an armored fighting vehicle. We have a SAM launcher, fully leveled up infantry, and then some rocket launcher trucks. That's what we've been moving through mainly. We don't have that many actual tanks. Poland does, but we're having him hold them back until we actually need them to do any clean up if need be. Uh, Spain has also moved a lot of troops to Great Britain, so he's trying to survive by going to an island. We're going to probably have to hunt him down and uh, kill off anything he has here. He's also going into Finland and Norway here. But I would say by next week in our next video, hopefully he should be completely destroyed. There's always a chance that he has something up his sleeve, but I would... I would venture to say that he's going to be defeated by next week. And then his ally, Cameroon, is a different story. He's been a little more difficult to fight. He has all armored units, very well armored. Uh, he has tanks, he has SAMs, he has mobile anti-air, he has high-level infantry. So that's been hard to conquer uh, cities because he has them there, and he has high-level SAM units, so that has been a little difficult to get air force is in. Um, I do have a pretty good air force right now. My air superiority fighters are almost completely leveled up. They're level six. I did have a long dogfight with all of his fighters around this area and I took out about 10 of his fighters with just four of mine and I have probably 10. So I really didn't have, I didn't have that many casualties. He had very low level fighters so it was a little easier for me but he has tanks and SAMs and all sorts of armored units spread out all throughout here. We're trying to be careful and not have a lot of casualties with our infantry. My plan of attack right now, Indonesia isn't helping right now because he's busy with Spain and Australia is kind of my support. So I'm taking on Cameroon myself. I'm going on a three front war against him right now. Uh, down here I have some units. I have my air superiority fighters watching over this unit, which is some infantry. And I believe it is Sam's. Yep, so I have five high level infantry all the way maxed out. I have one uh, rocket launcher truck and then one SAM. So it's an okay unit. I don't have any armored units. It does the trick for right now. And I have some infantry here 
coming in the east just trying to infiltrate uh, through here. He did push me out of this city. Oh, no, I still have it. But he did come in here and then he left and I retreated this this uh, unit out here and just having them stay back so I don't lose them to uh, tanks and everything. I also have a unit coming in, flying in right here. Got to come down from Egypt and from the north. So mainly all these units down here this is a distraction force. I want him to be distracted by all of this because over here is what my main operation is. Marine units coming in, landing on this beach, going to his capital straight away. Um, I'm able to do this with Marines because they can land on any beachhead anywhere. You're not, they're not restricted to the cities that have harbors. They can land on any beach, so I think that's a really valuable uh, ability that they have. And then I have Australia coming down from the north as more support. So we're going to have a decent amount of troops uh, coming in here, so six total. He did have more, but I think he lost some troops on the way down, unfortunately. I have four cruisers who just took out his task force that was harbored right here. So now I'm going to bombard this city while these marines are going to his capital. And then lastly, I have a ballistic missile sub coming in. It's going to arrive fairly soon in about an hour and 15 minutes. And it's going to launch two ballistic missiles right at this city, which will be very, very good because it's going to take out his airport, his level three naval base, and an arms industry at level five. And then in the background, I have a attack sub trailing behind him over here. He's coming in right behind him. Here's the attack sub coming in. And go to support him and then I have two destroyers and one marine unit and support uh, coming in as backups for this operation here in this area for Cameroon so hopefully what's going to happen is he's going to be very distracted by these infantry units over here and I can really come into his homeland these are his homeland cities and I can take these and then uh, hopefully I can draw them close to kill them off with my cruisers, I mean, sorry, my destroyers, and hopefully by then my research will be done for the cruise missiles and I can start using them against him. That's the overall strategy that's going on with Cameroon. Uh, it's a lot of moving pieces, but hopefully it goes well. And then for research, lastly is I am leveling up my attack aircraft to its fullest level, which is level three. So they're gonna have 15 uh, attack points on infantry and armor which is very high and their hit points will be 35 which will be very helpful as well and then also right here I'm of course researching the cruise missile so I can use those for all my aircraft my infantry is leveled all the way up my motorized infantry I'm probably gonna leave naval right here I don't know if I need to get them any higher at the moment still no armored units uh, somehow I've gotten away with that. I've just mainly been focused on um, my air superiority fighter, motorized infantry, naval patrol aircraft, which has helped taking out any unit in the seas, my destroyers, and then uh, attack sub kind of leveled up, my ballistic missile sub, and then lastly is my elite tech aircraft. And these have been very helpful in taking out infantry and armored units it's just you have to be careful of sams because they can uh, hit these guys pretty good uh, and then i guess for support i do have the trucks for rocket launchers unlocked only the first level and sam's first level they're not really super important to me right now i'm just trying to have really good attack units and just try to shock and awe him especially with this uh, sub that i have and i'm actually producing another one right now i believe in my city that has the level three harbor Let's check out New Zealand and go back home here. Yep, I got another sub in production. Got another uh, air superiority fighter. Nothing here, just I need to get this naval base to level 2. I've been leaving that alone for a long time. An attack helicopter, which I'm going to use against his tanks if need be. And then another uh, rocket launcher truck. That is what's going on guys in New Zealand this week. A lot has changed since the last video, so it's been pretty exciting. A lot going on. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these videos again. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date. Uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or anything you want to talk about about New Zealand or any strategies. Just let me know and I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, see you.